Hey guys, um, I know we're doing an unusual video today, but it's my Dino Collection. First, I'm doing all the reviews. I should do a collection. This is like my couch I'm doing it on, but <clears throat> what should we start it off with? How about the only Collect Day and Carnegie figures I have? Not that I hate them, because I really like this T-Rex. I mean, I got it from the South Carolina State Museum because I live in South Carolina. But, um... This is from the State Museum, and it's really cool. It came with a little man. I'll find that after the video. I'll do it on some video. video on the review. Um, and all of these will be in the Dino Island series. Come on. Here's the Carnegie Giganatosaurus. I didn't even know it was Carnegie at the time. Or something. But no. It's, uh, it's, uh, Carnegie. And it just made them look cool next to each other. I got it. So next is Schleich. Um, I like Schleich. Most people don't know what it is, but it's basically an underrated paper. Basically what it is, guys. <laughs> um, what figure should we start off on? Okay, here's just the Quetzal's Quatlas. I have. I always put my train on flying up there. I have the... Um, T-Rex and Spinosaurus roaring there. Therizinosaurus, which is uh, actually a pretty rare find now. Open his mouth. This is the only herbivore I've actually seen that can really open his mouth. And peeking out right there, the um, Stegosaurus. So on to my, uh, um, if you want to call it big, call it big. My big papo section. I, I I love these figures. Some people say they're not detailed, but just a lot of the words I find very detailed. One of my favorites. I just wish he came with a frill. That'd be awesome. I was just trying to focus it up for you guys. He very glossy skin. Um this is one of the old ones I got. I had a big green T-Rex, but uh, I lost that, and now I have the big brown one, and it's all chipped up for me playing with them. Yeah, the green one was a little special one. But, I do have the green running T-Rex, and you lost the two, because, you know what I said I like to play with these? Yep, and they'll probably get even more broken than that. But here's the... Uh, not so massive Spinosaurus, see you up here, I'll creep him down. Put it back on. Without. Tacky. But, um. After we film watching the dinosaurs, we watch it and film another one. Put back the other one. Uh. And these all will get their own separate reviews if they haven't already. Um. I'm just moving the baby T-Rex for it to make more sense. Hang on. There we go. Um. The Triceratops, I couldn't, I couldn't think of the name real quick. The always awesome uh, Stegosaurus, because it looks like the one from The Lost World, and I absolutely freaking love Jurassic Park. Ooh, Dilo. Dilo got knocked down. Yeah, rap, rap, no, no, no. Um. The Ankylosaurus, which is pretty, pretty cool. And I got it around the same time as, um, the, uh, Carnotaurus. So I just thought they were, like, in a battle pose. Like, that guy was, like, coming in. And, yeah. So, let's put that back there. Here's the Carnotaurus. I don't want to take him down because he is holding up some of the, uh, Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus doesn't do good on a carpet surface. But here, here he is. He can open or close his mouth. So if you like Paco. You think they have detail? I know they don't have, like, feathers. But I heard they're coming out with, like, a raptor like this. But it's running. It's going to have feathers on it. I hope that happens. That would be so cool. Or, like, if they have, like, a Utah raptor. This is, the this is version 2 Velociraptor. I don't have version 1. I used to have version 1 of this. I'm going to order off on... Of Dan's dinosaurs. But, um, well, who's going to next? 
I mean, you guys see the raptor, but I'm gonna just wait for that. Baby T Rex, I did a review on him. Go watch it. Sorry, Russian.